Welcome to English in Pinellas County. This lesson is about gardens. If you're not sure what grows in the county, see what your neighbors are growing. Let's listen as Sandy describes her plants. We have basil. We have some thyme in the long pot right there. In the back, the tall, is lemongrass. Here we have parsley. We've got some sage. And we have some cilantro. These are all pretty common herbs that many of you use in your cooking and that are really easy to grow here in Florida. Particularly the parsley and the basil both grow from seed and will grow very, very easily. Now a lot of these plants won't grow well in the summer in Florida. Um, they have to be pretty hardy. The thyme and the oregano will grow in the summer in the heat. But a lot of these, and the sage, but a lot of these won't, won't last through the heat in summer, but you'll need to just start them over for the cooler months. Here you see my tomatilla. Uh, this is great for uh, particularly uh, Mexican cooking. Uh, use it in a lot of salsas and a lot of sauces. Uh, and they're not that easy to find. You can buy them in the grocery, but they're expensive. And here I can grow just a lot of them uh, really easily. You just use the leaves? Uh, no, actually, you don't use the leaf at all. You use the um, pod and you use the fruit. Awesome. Cool. This is a three by eight bed. And um, it's very important on corn, you need to plant at least four rows because it must pollinate itself and with the wind. And so it, corn is one thing you can't just put in a pot and put two or three and think that you're going to get corn ears. Okay, these are obviously eggplants back there. Most of rest, what else is in here are tomatoes and um, peppers. Instead of green beans, we have purple beans. Yes. That's different. Mm -hmm. Makes them easier to find when you're picking them and they taste about the same. Almost anything that will hold soil and hold water makes a great planting container. Um, these are storage tubs. I got these for about three dollars last weekend on sale. So they're um, just make sure you poke holes in the bottom so you get good drainage. Here's another way to learn about gardening in Pinellas County. Go to the Florida Botanical Gardens. It's on Ulmerton Road in Largo. You can get a lot of information at the Extension Office, including a visitor's guide. The map shows where to find the herb garden, the tropical fruit garden, and many other types of plants. Here are some things Michael saw when he was there. There are always beautiful flowers near the entrance to the Extension Center. Many plants in the herb garden came from other countries. There is a tropical fruit garden too. Here is more information about Pinellas County Extension Services. Extension is a nationwide program. It's um, each county in every state has an extension office that is an extension of their land grant university. And what the purpose of extension is, is it to work as a bridge to bring re university research based information to the public. So when you say bring information, are you referring to classes? Do you have classes we here? We do. We have classes here. We have some that are certification wow. classes for professionals. Wow. But we also have a lot of classes for the general public, for people to come and learn about gardening or about 4-H. We have a 4-H program that is youth development. We, we do educational programs not only here on topics that are timely for the public, on lawn care, Florida friendly landscaping. We do a lot of that butterfly gardening, some fun things. Ah. Uh, we do programs for children. We have programs for youth here. Uh, we have uh, Saturday morning programs where parents can come with their children for some of the programs that we do. 
We also do outreach to other areas of the county. We may do programs at libraries, at Brooker Creek Nature Preserve is one of our environmental lands places, Whedon Island. We've done programs at a Boyd Hill Nature Park. So we try to take our message out to the county for people who can't get to Largo. Extension has a wide umbrella. That's a, that's a good idea because, I mean, you should know where this is if you've not been here because it's located at the Botanical Gardens, which is sort of just a plus. I mean, it just...